I'll take it. So it'll be a nice little chip shot. Who am I joking? I don't know how to chip. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Team Faithful Golf. Today you'll be golfing with just me. I'm here at Monterey Park golfing a nine hole and I'm gonna take you hole by hole and show you every shot, good, bad, and ugly. My goal today is just to shoot bogey golf. I don't know if I'll get there, probably not, but that is the goal. So I've only been golfing for about a year. I'm gonna show you shot by shot where I'm at as a new golfer um, and take you along my journey as I hopefully one day become a bogey golfer or even better. So let's go. All right, this is the first hole. I'm gonna use a seven iron. I'm just gonna try and get down to the green, making smart decisions. Okay, so I still went a little right, um, but I can see it, so let's get going. I think I hit it about 140 yards or so. The 150 meter yard stick is right there. I don't want it to go right again, so I'm just gonna like over direct to the left, and hopefully this does what I would like it to do and fall somewhere in the middle. Okay. I'll take it. Kind of chunked it, but I mean, it landed in a pretty good spot. This is my third shot on the first hole. I'm gonna use a nine. I am trying to not get in the bunker. I'm gonna aim a little left to the bunker and hopefully it doesn't go into the bunker because I know bunkers love me and I don't love bunkers, so. Ugh. Yeah, I could do that too. So this is my fourth shot and I'm gonna use a wedge, try and get it onto the green. Don't go in the bunker. Oh, okay. I think we might be on the green and we just missed the bunker. Okay, so it didn't get on the green, but it's on the fringe and I am so happy about this cause it didn't go in the bunker. The thing about Monterey Park is like the greens are kind of tricky and I think here I want to get it as close to the pin and hopefully just two putt it. Oh, stop, slow down. Oh my God. Okay, let's just get close to the hole. Okay, roll down, roll down. Okay, I can live with that. All right. We are here on the second hole now. It is 148 yards. I'm gonna use a seven. Just trying to get it close to the green is my goal. Another goal is to try and two putt because putting is usually where I struggle the most. Oh. Well, that was horrible, and I thought I readjusted to kind of go a little bit more right, but it totally went left and it hit a tree. So it landed here, and this is such an ugly spot. So I am gonna try and attempt something that is way above my skill level. Yeah, so like I said, way above my skill level. Let's try that one again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that was any better. So today I want to try shots that I've never done before. I'm right next to this tree. So let's just see what I can do. <laughs> All right, so this hole is a bust and um, let's try this again. Okay, we can work with that. <laughs> Chipping is also something I'm not very good at. So I'm gonna try and bump and run this a little bit and just get on the green. All right, the goal is just to get it close to the hole 
It looks like it's a little left to right, so. Oh, I should have gone a little further left, but I'm happy with this. All right, hole two, done. Hole number three, 135 yards. It is super downhill. Well, it hit the fence and it kicked back onto the fairway. So it's still super short, but at least I didn't lose the ball. <laughs> this is literally my worst nightmare. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of things to think about and I don't know how to hit this correctly. I really don't know what to do here. So my goal is just to get on the green or close enough to the green. Okay, stop rolling. Stop rolling. I need to aim far right and hopefully it kind of just curves close enough to the hole. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Oh. This is not as scary as putting downhill. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like I said, putting is not my strong suit. Oh, yeah, yep. This is what I do. <laughs> Oh my God, and it's just gonna roll all the way down. This doesn't go in, I'm picking it up. Of course, of course it goes in. Yep, that's golf. Hole number four. Those first three holes were pretty ugly, so hopefully I'm a little bit warmed up. I wanna try and slow it down and make smart decisions Don't hit the tree. Okay. So, lesson learned. I probably should have aimed a little bit more right because there's these trees on the left. And sure enough, my ball hit the tree. So, let's go. Second shot on hole number four. I am using a gap wedge. I'm probably just gonna do a bump and run. I feel like that is the most safe shot I can get. So I'm gonna just put my Weight on my left foot, de-lock my club, and almost just hit it like a putt. Oh God, too much. That was what I was afraid of. So we will see where it landed. I'm pretty sure it shot to the back side of the green and over to the other end, but at least it's up there. So it actually ended up being a whole lot better than I thought. Get in the cup, get in the cup. Oh, dang. I just aimed a little too far right and it didn't break at all. It looks kind of like I gotta put it pretty straight on, so. Get in the hole. There we go, first bogey. Hole number four, bogey. This hole here is a little bit tricky because it looks like I want to aim left because there's all this like shrubbery here, but it also slopes down to the left and my ball usually kind of goes down the hill this way. Oh, I'll take it. Okay, so it's not on the green but it's right on the fringe. So it'll be a quick, a nice little chip shot. Who am I joking? I don't know how to chip. <laughs> it will be like a bump and run, like a little soft bump and run, or I'll just use my putter. Get on the green. <laughs> it didn't make it all the way, but I'm 
a lot more comfortable with that than it's shooting out the other end. So I am going to aim to the left side of the cup and hopefully it goes in. Okay, so now my eyes are deceiving me again and now it totally looks like it's going right to left. Okay, so I didn't hit that enough. Okay, bogey again. Second bogey. So goal is just to get it nice and straight down the fairway. Well, I topped that one. Second shot, I'm about 75 yards to the pin. But it's funny, when I was like teeing off, in my head, I wasn't confident. I should have stepped back and like listened to my gut and stepped off and like hit it again. It landed in the area that I wanted it to land, but I didn't get a lot of distance because I totally hit it fat. So I'm gonna bump and run the third shot onto the green using a wedge. All right, this is one weird putt. Oh, not bad. Nice little tap in here. But I had the right idea. I just hit it just a little bit too hard. Well, that was a little too far, right? But we'll see where it lands because I did see it kind of like roll down the hill. So we are here on a really ugly angle and I am going to use a gap wedge. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. So I'm gonna use my putter. If I can get into the hole, great. If I can just get it close, I am totally happy with that. Oh, again, I'm not sure about how much I should hit it when it's coming off the fringe. Oh, I hate lip outs. Another lip out? Oh my God, that was an unnecessary like double or triple bogey. I think it was a triple bogey, but that was so unnecessary. All right, we are on hole number eight. This is 140 yards out. It's starting to rain a little bit. So I'm using my seven iron. I'm gonna aim more to the left. Okay, so I'm pretty happy that I aimed to the left because it ended up on the right. The pin is actually at the front of the green, so I don't want to put too much on this. Oh, pretty good. I'll take it, it's on the green. All right. How am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna try and get it close to the cup and just see, cause I, the screen is kind of messing with me right now. Oh my God, go in, go in, go in. Oh. That was a surprise. Um, I didn't think that was gonna go so close to the hole, but I mean, I'll take it. So that was another bogey. 
All right, we're here on the last hole, hole number nine. So it's the longest hole here. I'm gonna use a three because I am not comfortable with my driver yet. So the goal here is just try and get down the fairway using smart decisions. And I'm also gonna aim right on this one too. We'll see how it goes. It went straight, but it didn't go very far. So this is my second shot. I'm gonna use the seven iron. I'm gonna aim a little bit more to the right. It looks like I'm hitting into the trees, but I feel like that side's a little bit more forgiving, as long as it doesn't hit a tree. Well, it didn't hit a tree, <laughs> but it went right behind a tree and it didn't go very far either. So I'm right next to the tree and I don't know if I have enough room to backswing. So my goal is just to kind of get it back on the fairway. I'm back on the fairway. I have a pretty good lie. So hopefully I can just get it closer to the green. Oh, it was so pretty and then it hit a tree. All right, well, I chunked that. Okay, not bad, it landed on the fringe. It is so gross and muddy right now. Like, look at my gloves. Overall, I think I did pretty good. Just trying to get close to the pin here. Roll, 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 roll. Keep rolling. Oh. Oh man, all right, not bad. All right, final putt. Ended this nine hole with the snowman, but that's okay. As you can see, there's still a lot of room for improvement. My goal here is to play bogey golf because we always say that bogey golf is enjoyable golf. This is a lifelong journey. It's fun, it's great to get out here. So I want to inspire more women to play golf and just to inspire couples and relationships and the time that you can spend together on a golf course. That's two to four hours of just quality time with one another. So join us on our journey and like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.